the connection between in school and out of school is really one of the challenges that we have as educators to merge and, 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 and uh, minimize that line between what's going on in one venue versus what's going on in another because we need to be borrowing from or leveraging kinds of things that are going on in people's daily lives, whether they are involved in uh, after school uh, uh, organizations or whether they're just involved in activities on their own, we need to understand, you know, why that's so important, why that's so powerful in, 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 their, in their lives, and the ways that some of that might connect to things that we also want them to engage within the context of teaching and learning inside of schools. A youth organization that I do a lot of work with is uh, Youth Radio. First, we brought a Youth Radio intern in to the classroom that we were, one of the classrooms that we were doing research on in terms of this teacher attempting to use more digital uh, text and tools in her instruction. And we had to, in turn, co-teach the class with, with, the, uh, with, with, the, with the instructor. And so this young person was able to bring the youth radio concept of how you work with kids effectively. And it's documented in the book, uh, Drop That Knowledge by Lisa Soap, uh, particularly chapter two, which talks about collegial pedagogy. So a whole different concept of pedagogical engagement that looks at teachers and, and, and the young people themselves as colleagues, as collaborators on meaning making with each person having certain skill sets that are brought to the table to facilitate the production of meaning. So we have people coming from youth radio who've been very successful with the same kids that are marginalized in the urban school systems. And how is that so? And it's because one, there's a high level of engagement with topics that are connected to young people's real life experiences and real world issues that they are concerned about and, and that are important to them, but also uh, a different style of pedagogy that decenters the role of the teacher as a knowledge holder and transfer of that knowledge to someone else in a sort of banking concept model if we wanted to leverage Freire to this joint process of meaning making where young people are actually learning how to do the certain the things that they need to do by engaging in the practice itself. 